select any loadout changes, and then move quickly go, up go, to the go. overwatch position. From that vantage point, scan the area to the north for targets. A flight of our Chinook helicopters is en route, and we need you to make sure the area is clear of enemy Stinger missile troops or their emplaced weapons. If you're planning on operating from the same area for any length of time, it's a good idea to protect your position with Claymore mines. They activate automatically, so just place them a safe distance away from you, facing any approaching paths to your location. Once you're in place, go prone in an area where you can observe the target while blending in with the surrounding environment. Going prone improves your accuracy and reduces the sway that is noticeable when you scope in. Press the B key to use your binoculars and scan the target area. A good sniper will sweep in a left to right pattern starting at close range and extending out from his position. While scanning, you should make note of the distance for various landmarks. That way you won't have to keep switching between your scope and binoculars. The rangefinder is located in the bottom center of the binoculars. When you're done scanning, press B to toggle off the binoculars and switch back to your rifle. Right click to scope in on a target and engage. Good work! The major threat to our aircraft has been disabled. You may proceed to the extraction point to complete this mission, but command has authorized you to stay in the area and engage any targets of opportunity. There is an enemy mortar position on the hill to the north. It's a fairly challenging distance, but you should be able to eliminate them before they zero in on your position. If the range of your target doesn't match the available settings exactly on your scope, you'll need to use the hold-off technique. Select the nearest elevation increment by either pressing the apostrophe key or press shift and apostrophe to adjust up and down. Or you can hold the control key and change the elevation with your mouse wheel. Set the elevation to the nearest 100 meters rounding down. Then use the mill dots on the scope's crosshairs to manually raise the center of the crosshair over the intended target. Practice with this for a bit to gauge how much elevation is necessary to hit a target at a 50 meter increment. The longer you stay in one place, the easier it will be for the enemy to locate and destroy you. Relocate to another observation point now. Keep moving after every few shots. Move up to the last observation point now.